Do Siberian Huskies shed a lot? Though they originated in a very cold climate, Siberian Huskies are now popular in countries of all climates. This dog's stunning looks and its playful personality are largely responsible for its increased popularity. There are many questions you should ask when considering this breed as a pet in order to understand what to expect. A popular query is related to its particularly beautiful coat. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. The Siberian Huskies Coat. You will find that the coat of the Siberian Husky is thicker than the vast majority of dog breeds. It originally needed to ensure the dog was protected from the harsh Siberian weather, where the temperature could easily drop to below minus 50 degrees Celsius, minus 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Their coat consists of two layers, the undercoat, which is quite dense, and the fur on top of this, the primary coat, which is actually quite short and consists of guard hairs. These provide the dog with an extra insulation layer of fur and also help to protect them from superficial injuries. As far as colors go, you will see the Siberian Husky in quite a variety of colors and different patterns but typically they will all have white legs and paws, white markings on their face and also a white tip of their tail. The Siberian Husky Background Let's look at the Husky in a little more detail to establish why it has such a thick coat. The Siberian Husky is a direct descendant of the original sled dog. It is widely accepted that the breed originated in the cold Arctic climate of Siberia where, as I mentioned, temperatures can become very cold indeed, even in their summer months. The Husky was then introduced into Alaska in the early part of the 20th century where they were known as, Siberian Rats, as they were quite small. People are still quite bemused by how small the Husky actually is as they're a lot smaller than a lot of people think. They are an extremely active breed of dog which, given the chance, would spend all day, every day, outside playing. Therefore, they require regular exercise at least twice a day, and not just a five-minute walk to the nearest tree. Because they are designed for cold climates, although they are more capable in most climates, care must be taken in direct sunlight or when it's particularly hot. Do Huskies shed all year round? Fortunately, the Siberian Husky does not shed the same all year round. It will blow its undercoat at least once a year and usually twice. However, the amount and number of times a husky sheds does depend on the climate where you live. In Siberia for instance, it will hardly shed at all but it will still blow its coat. In California though, for example, where temperatures are quite high, it may shed its hair literally all year round. The removal of this undercoat will help them stay cool in warmer climates than they originated from. This fur will often come out in clumps and unless you want it all around your house you should help them with this process. Just using your normal dog brush will remove the vast majority of it and you really don't need to buy a specialist tool to do this. This doesn't mean your husky will lose hair only once or twice a year though. Although they don't blow all year round, they will drop hair all the time. You should keep a vacuum cleaner handy as you could use it every day and clear up a surprising amount of fur each time. Seriously you're going to be surprised exactly how much you suck up. How much does a Siberian Husky shed each year? A Siberian Husky will shed a considerable amount of hair each year. But let's try and put it another way, my friend has made a lovely scarf out of the fur that their Huskies have lost in a very short time indeed. Every single day more seems to arrive. So, your husky will lose hair most likely every day of its life and you will have some extra chores to do every day during the same time period. The simple fact is, Siberian huskies shed so much because they happen to have a lot of fur to shed. Can I stop my Siberian husky from shedding? There is no way to completely stop a Siberian husky from shedding. However, you can minimize it to a reasonable extent with a regular grooming regime. By grooming, you remove loose hair before it falls out everywhere which will save you a lot of cleaning time. Obviously, grooming takes up time but it is a good bonding experience. The undercoat of a husky will shed at least once and usually twice a year, 
depending on where you live but even in the temperate climate of the UK you can expect them to blow it twice. This will occur and you can't do anything about it and it also happens for a good reason. Shedding is actually caused by hormonal changes in the dog caused by daylight changes. Some people wonder why the husky also blows its coat as winter approaches. The undercoat that is blown during this time is different from the coat that is blown during the spring. The coat that is lost as winter approaches is their thinner summer coat. It is then replaced by a thicker winter coat. Then, in the spring, the heavy winter coat is blown and the shorter, summer coat grows back once more. Siberian huskies do shed quite a lot in the summer months too so keep up the grooming to minimize the mess around your house. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.